morning by morning, mercy runs over. Morning by morning, grace it runs over. Morning by morning, it's new every morning. Oh, how could I forget all that you've done? Grace and peace and good morning to each and every one of you. Welcome to Fresh Start. This is Pastor Daryl Fair, and I'm excited as always for the privilege of beginning a brand new day with each and every one of you who are a part of our Fresh Start family. Uh, it is a privilege that uh, we are able to come together every single morning and uh, dive into the word of God, pull out a principle or two that will help us to start our day and I pray that today is no different, that this is another day that God will give us insight, revelation, give us a spiritual nugget to focus our thoughts as we move forward in what God has called us to be able to do. We've been talking about reasons to give God praise, and I really want to um, continue just a little bit uh, in a maybe a slightly different vein. I want you to consider with me Psalm 138. We've been in Psalm 136. Let's look at Psalm 138. The Bible says it's a Psalm of David. The Bible says, I will praise thee with my whole heart before the gods. Will I sing praise unto thee? I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness, and for thy truth. So many reasons to give God praise. For thou hast, catch this, magnified thy word above all thy name. You have magnified your word above all your name. One of the things that I want to make sure that we attempt to stress uh, this morning in this particular passage of Scripture, it is simply that David gives several reasons to give God praise in Psalm 138. He says, I'm going to praise you with my whole heart. Uh, I, I will praise you in front of false gods. I'll sing praises unto you. He says, I'm going to worship towards your holy temple. He says, I'm going to praise your name for your loving kindness. I'm going to praise your name because of your truth. I'm going to praise you because you've been kind. And I'm going to praise you because of your truth. Then he says, for you have magnified your word above your name. In our society, we give more credence to the person than we give to their word. What do I mean by that? Depending upon who it is, it doesn't matter what they say because of who said it, often it is believed. Not because it's true, not even because it's sound, but just because a certain person said it, people tend to believe it. One of the things that David says in this particular psalm, he does not say you have magnified your name above the word. He says you have magnified your word above your name. Now, the name of the Lord, y'all know this is a strong tower. The name of the Lord um, is, is a powerful name. Righteous run into it. They are safe. Um, the Bible talks about God has given them a name, a name that is above every name, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess at the name of Jesus. So we know how powerful that name is. But David says something that's unique. And he says, I'm praising you. Yes, your name is, is a strong tower, but I'm praising you because you have put, you have ranked, you have established your word above your name. Your word has more esteem than your name. 
And here's the reason why. If the name of the Lord, if God himself had a bad name, we wouldn't trust his word. But this is how God does it in the scripture. David says, because your word is true, I can believe in your name. And because your word means something, I can respond when you tell me what you tell me. Let me give you our, our, our fresh focus this, this morning. It, it's, it's simply this. There is power in the name of the Lord because his word is good. So we can trust his name because his word is good. And for those of you who just need another reason to give God praise, praise him because his word has power, which means his name has authority. Because if his word meant nothing, his name would mean nothing. But because his name means something, it is because his word is something. David said, I'm going to praise you because you have established your word even above your name. Saints, we ought to praise him because his word is strong. We ought to praise him because his word is sound. We ought to praise him because his word can be trusted. As a matter of fact, as I close out this morning, put it in the chat area. I praise God for his word. Oh, I trust his name because his word is good. My God today, I praise him for his word. While you're writing that, let me speak this over your life. Whatever you had to face on yesterday, just know that you've outlived your yesterday. God's brought you into a brand new day. Indeed, he has given you and I a fresh start. Take this fresh start. Step into this brand new day, knowing you're not stepping by yourself, but step with his word. God willing, I'll see you in the morning. God bless. I feel the fullness of your love.